Hello, YouTube. I am making a review to Sponge on the Run. I loved it. It was great. It had good references, good songs. I had a mixed up plot. I didn't understand. At first, I didn't understand what they were talking about. But I loved it. Every character was great. SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, Mr. Krabs. None of them act out of character. I thought that weird gambling thing was a little odd. But come on, all SpongeBob movies have a little bit of weirdness in them. Plus, we gotta add a little adult humor in it. A little bit. Just a little bit. It wouldn't be the same without SpongeBob, but we can add that. They're trying to put some stuff in the original that they probably wanted to do before for Goofy Goober, but they, uh, for the first movie, they had all their Goofy Goober ness, but they probably couldn't because of, well, an obvious location. But I loved how they were more diverse. I still can't tell. Was that place supposed to be Colorado or was that place supposed to be like Arizona or something? I couldn't tell. Like that desert place, it looked like Colorado, but I don't know if I'm right about that. I could be wrong. Somebody tell me. Which city was that supposed to be? That's the only city I'm not sure about. I know that, that obviously that gambling city. Hello, what's the most famous gambling city of them all? Las Vegas. Everybody knows that place. Everybody. It's actually pretty. I actually would really want to go there, but at the same time, I understand why I never want to go there at the same time. That place is a money scam. You're going to lose money the first time anybody sniffs. <gasps> it's a tourist. <laughs> uh, but I did love that song. <laughs> I swear, I guess when I saw Snoop Dogg, I was like, is that Snoop Dogg? Like, I knew there was going to be a guest appearance by, by a bunch of people. But I didn't think I'd see Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg in a Spongebob movie. Did anybody expect that? If y'all did, then good for y'all. But with the commercials I saw, it did not show Snoop Dogg. So that was a complete surprise. A complete surprise. I was like, that's Snoop Dogg. He was crazy. But every moment was great. And I appreciate the moments. The Camp Coral moments. I mean, they were okay, but I guess in their universe, it makes sense. But in the universe we grew up with, with Spongebob, there were some things that didn't make any sense because this camp is never mentioned in the original series. Like, in the, in the spin-off series, it makes sense, but in the original series, they didn't get it. Oh, and by the way, guys, if y'all wonder what happened, I cut myself again. Seriously, I don't get what the, how the heck I keep doing that, but I keep cutting myself. Anyway, in conclusion, I loved it. Like I said, the characters were all, well, in character. Everything was fine. You know, the only thing that really wasn't the same was the French narrator. All we heard was a regular talking narrator. That narrator didn't sound French at all. But everything was all lovely. It's just so wonderful. And we went more than just a bikini bottom. We went to all kinds of places. And I like that robot. Like that robot was kind of funny, I gotta be honest. The erotic thing is, would I say is, would I say it's better than sponge out of water? Well, obviously, yes. But would I say it's better than the original movie? Absolutely not. The original movie actually gave me laughs. For some weird reason, this thing did not give me almost one laugh. Okay, the okay, the him taking off all his clothes things and saying, Let it ride, let it ride. Okay, that part was kind of funny. And the robot keeps saying he's on fire and then doing almost the opposite of what they need was kind of funny. If I had to say my favorite scene in the movie, obviously it was that song. Obviously, actually I have two favorite scenes. It was that song when they were dancing. And it was that and it was the part and it was the part where each one of the characters was explaining a reason why SpongeBob is the kindest, 
most gentlest sponge that ever hit this world. And I will forever love him. Because he is my childhood. And he is my first love. No, I seriously mean that he really is. <laughs> I'll explain more about that in a later video. But anyway, anyway Spun me on the back. Good episode. I wish I could have recorded me watching it, but uh, I uh, I don't have a laptop, so obvious. Well, I don't have a functioning laptop, so I can't do that. Until I get better technology, y'all ain't gonna be seeing that for a while. But I hope y'all do like this. So everybody, so all SpongeBob fans, subscribe, hit the like button. I hope all of you people watch Sponge on the Run. And if y'all haven't, well, I'm glad I didn't give y'all any spoilers. Well, any big spoilers. Most of these should be obvious by the trailer. But anyway, bye guys. I hope y'all all have a lovely night. This is my review of Sponge on the Run. And I love that it said in memory of Stephen Hillenburg. Rest in peace, Stephen Hillenburg. Rest in peace. Like I said before in the V like I said before when I was watching that video. Your memory still lives on in the show. Stephen Hillenburg and the show is still lives on. And I'm glad the ori original voice actors are still playing roles. It's amazing how long they have been playing these roles. Like, even they probably didn't expect Spongebob to go on as long as they did. But they were like, man, Spongebob is just such a good show. I just can't stray away from it. I will not let anybody else be the voice of Spongebob. Pat Patrick, like the original voice actors were like, we will play these roles for as long as Spongebob exists. By the way, who do y'all think? Do y'all think that Tom Kenny really plays the voice of the little Spongebob? Or do y'all think it was by, or do you think it was done by somebody else? Because I didn't look at the whole entire credits to figure that out. I'll probably look it up online. But anyway, bye. But anyway, see ya. Ciao. Au revoir. Goodbye.